What can you tell me about the use of have to and must? Have to and must are both modal verbs that express obligation or necessity. They are often used interchangeably, but there are some differences in their usage. Have to is more commonly used in spoken English and is considered less formal than must. It is used to express an obligation or necessity that comes from an external source, such as a rule, law, or someone else's expectations. For example, I have to finish this report by tomorrow, or, we have to wear a mask in public places. Must, is more formal and is used to express a strong obligation or necessity that comes from an internal source, such as personal conviction, duty, or moral obligation. It is often used in written or formal contexts. For example, employees must comply with the company's dress code, or, you must take responsibility for your actions. In terms of negation, have to is negated with, don't have to, or, don't need to, which mean that something is not required but can still be done if desired. For example, I don't have to work on Saturdays, means that working on Saturdays is not required, but the speaker can still choose to do so if they want to. On the other hand, must is negated with, must not, or, mustn't, which indicate that something is prohibited or forbidden. For example, you mustn't park in this spot, means that parking in that spot is not allowed under any circumstances. Overall, while, have to, and, must, can be used interchangeably in some contexts, they have different connotations and are used in different situations. Gives three sentences for each case. Sure, here are three sentences for each case. Have to, I have to attend a meeting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. We have to study for our final exams next week. She has to take her medication every day to manage her condition. Don't have to, don't need to, you don't have to cook dinner tonight, we can order takeout instead. We don't need to worry about that issue right now, it can wait until later. He doesn't have to come to the party if he doesn't want to. Must, students must submit their assignments by the deadline to receive credit. Employees must follow the safety procedures at all times to avoid accidents. Visitors to the museum must keep their voices down and not touch the exhibits. Mustn't, must not, you mustn't park in the handicapped spot without a permit. We must not forget to turn off the oven before we leave the house. The passengers on the airplane mustn't use electronic devices during takeoff and landing.